You can pause the video anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键 Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for today, and let's see what kind of tool you need for this class. Are you ready? That begins. All right. Today we're gonna use the pencil crayon to do the work. So let's see what media that we need to use. All right. First of all, we talk about the papers. So we need to use the sketch paper. All right. So you have to check your book, the joint papers. Are they written on the cover with sketchbook? All right. If you have those, that is the good one. All right. You might using this one, mixed media. So this paper that we can use for dry media like sketch, like pencil crayon, and also can use for watercolor. All right. So if you have this, that will be great as well. All right. So sketchbook or mixed media. If you don't have any one of them, you can use the printing paper. All right, printing paper is work for the dry media as well. All right, sketchbook, mixed media papers, or the printing paper. And of course, we need to use a pencil to do the work, right? A pencils, a nice erasers, and the sharpener. All right, I'm sure you have those. And especially, I want to describe about the tracing markers. All right, I'm looking for two different sizes. One is the five points markers. Looks like the big triangle on the top. It shows a thick line on the paper. And the other one is the ultra five points marker. It looks like the needle is very small and pointed. It will shows a thin lines on the paper. All right, so I need these two tracing markers, five points, ultra five points. So what if you don't have the needle marker, the ultra five points? You can use the pencil crayon, find the black one, okay, to do the tracing. It will looks like almost like the same. All right, all right. So make sure you have the right papers, the drawing tools, and the tracing markers. Okay, so now we can start to do our work. All right, so we're gonna do something little, something cute. All right, so first of all, you have to prepare your pencils and erasers. All right, so I'm gonna do start to do the layout first. So layout has to show the size and the place. So when we start to do the layout, don't do it too hard. So we are gonna do very, very gentle with the pencils. All right. So first of all, you have to do a snowman. Okay. But we're gonna turning the snowman into a bunny. All right. So I'm gonna do circle. You have to do it very, very light. How light gonna be? Let me zoom in. It have to be as light as that you can see it, but it also can be erased easily. See, after erase, you don't see any print. Okay, that's light enough. If you're doing too hard, and after you erase, you still see the print, which means you are doing too hard. All right. So be gentle, very light, not too heavy, and it will looks like the snowman. All right. If you want to do two bunnies, you can do two snowmen, and one could be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. All right. So we're done with the snowmen. Now we have to think about the position. All right. It's almost the Lunar New Year. Okay. For most of the Asian people, the culture that we have, the New Year's for the bunnies. All right. So the bunny years. So I want one of my bunny has to him go up so he can carry the red envelope, right? Because he's a little one. And one hand go, the other hand is going up to. And the big one, I want to have the hand just right at the front, just like the parents. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna put my pencils away. So I'm gonna start to do with the tracing markers, so you can see it more clearly from the screen. But feel free to stay with the pencils. 
all right feel free to stay with the pencils so you can erase it when you are making the mistake all right so feel free to stay with the pencil and i'm gonna do it with the markers okay so let's see let's start to do the face of the bunny all right let me zoom in a little bit okay so my bunny the big one is facing to the little one so when i start to do the nose i have to make my nose a little bit close to the left side not at the middle okay so the bunny nose looks like that like the v one two all right then i have my uh, the little one facing to the big one so which means my nose is going to facing to close to the right not facing to the right close to the right one two all right easy so one side of the no uh, one side of the bunny is facing to the left one side of the nose is going to the right close to the right all right then i'm gonna do the w right under it one two one two it looks like the w right okay so uh you can decide it you can have the mouth open or have the mouth closed let's see the difference i want my little one cheer out so i'm gonna do a little u right on this and double i right under if I want to have the, the, the bunny looks a smile, then I just make it a little bit smaller. Alright, and feel free to make your eye bigger or smaller, but beside the nose. Okay, I can have the eye like wink. Like close the eye, like happy. Because when we are smile, when we are laughing, we normally close our eye, right? Especially when we are laughing so hard, okay? So that's about the face. All right, then let me zoom up a little bit. Let's see here. All right, so we finished the face and feel free to add in the eyelash if you want to. And you might think about the whisker. We can do the whisker after. All right, let's do the ears. So I want to have my ears on the top of the eye and let's see where I grow my ears. I have my ear inside the circle a little bit. They are not just right on top. See, I have my ears a little bit inside the circle. Okay, double eyes. One, two. All right, and the other ones, because I'm facing to that side, so by the angle, the other ear is gonna be on top of the circle they are not inside the circle anymore because this ears is on the other side of the face all right so a quick remind again i have one ears inside the circle a little bit because the angle that we see from here the other ears looks like on top of the circle all right let's see the difference Okay, and this one doesn't need to do double line because it's facing to the other side. We are not able to see it. All right, so now see the first one, uh, the little one. The little one is very close to, uh, is facing to us, right? So we can see both ears. So same thing, we have the ears inside the circle a little bit. And because the angle, we can see both facing to us. And same, the other ear is going to be facing uh, inside the circle a little bit and facing to us. So we will see the double line for both. Alright, again, you can pause the video anytime you need. So you have to check the ears, try to make the ears balance on the little one. And the other one because it's facing to a different angle so the one a little bit far away could be a little bit smaller if you do it upside down like the other one this one looks bigger than the, this one then you have to change the size all right okay then you can decide the face by yourself you can trace the circle to make the bunny looks a little bit wrong okay but you also can add a little bit shape for example i trace the circle on the top 
But don't forget, we are not cutting the ears. The ears cover the head. All right. So I want my bunny looks a little bit choppy. So I just turn the face out of the circle a little bit. Same thing on the other side. I want my bunny looks a little bit choppy. All right. So I only trace the circle on the top, but not cutting the ears. And I made my chin a little bit out of the circle, so the bunny looks more choppy. So they looks more cute. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the little one. I trace the circle on the top. All right, and the side a little bit. Same thing. They are coming from the same family, so the face looks a little bit choppy. So make the face go out a little bit. Then, because it's winter time, so I'm gonna do something like the scarf to make the bunny feel more warm. All right, let's see. I do a curvy line on the side. Make sure the scarf is bigger than the body. The circle we made at the bottom, and close on the top. Close on the top. Let's drip down. Let's go down, and I'm gonna leave it a little bit shorter so I don't cover the hands. All right, same thing. I add the scarf for the little one, and go down a little bit longer. And I have two. Okay, so let me do the hem. The hem is coming out from the scarf. And one, two, and three, and going back to here. Don't close it because it's joined to the body, right? All right. Same thing on the other side. Remember the line that we made on the line on the top. One, two, three, and going back. Now this time we have to close right here. All right. And remember the little one. We say I'm gonna make him wear uh, carry the red envelope, so that's why he's so happy and jumping up. So before I did the envelope, I have to do the thumb. A little C, right on top of the line, the end of the line. Then let me zoom in. You can see it's more clear. Yeah. Right okay. So the red envelope. It looks like he's holding it, right? Okay, then I can add in the arms from the circle to the red apple. Okay, and I have the arm on the other side and the feet. One, two, three, and going back. And make sure the arm on the right and the left that looks like the same size. That looks like the same size. Okay, and let's finish the small bunny. We're almost done because the bunny is jump off. So I have to do a big letter C, but it's on top of the circle. See, on the side of the circle, they are not below the circle. They are on the circle. All right, and two feet. One and two. All right, then let's see. One, two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. All right, feel free to pause the video right here. Okay, you have to make sure the hands, the arm, right and left, the feet, right and left, they looks like the same size. All right, when we done the feet, we can close the bunny from the arm, going down to touch the feet. Same thing on the other side, the left. Close the bottom on the top, on the bottoms, and let's see. Have to curve up and curve down. All right, we can add the stomach. All right, let's do the big one. So we add in the curve right under the, the arm, going out of the circle. One, two, three, and going back. A small curve to touch the circle right here. That's a feet. Then I can trace the circle from the scuff all the way to the bottom then I close the bunny all right then 
I want the bunny looks a little bit skinnier, not too fast, so I'm not tracing the stomach with the circle. Let's see. I make the size a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Then two lines coming out. One, two. How big is the lines? The same as the other, uh, the foot that we just did. All right. Then one, two, and three. All right, before we move on to do the detail, feel free to pause the video right here, okay? All right, so the detail. You can add in the teeth for the bunny, right? The tongue, if you have the mouth open. Then I have the mommy, the big one, the other ones. And we have the whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, and the foot. We can have the balls and the bottoms. Alright, feel free to add in your own background. So now it's your own background and the decoration tie for your bunny. For example, you might have this, the patterns on the scuff, right? Maybe you want to put the boat on top of the bunny. Maybe he's wearing the hat. Maybe you have another toys, carrots around. Up to you. So now it's your decoration time. Okay, feel free to pause the video right here. Okay, so finish the background, finish the decoration, and you can do the tracings. All right, after you done the tracing, you can keep playing the video. Then we will start to do the coloring all together. All right, if you haven't done the tracing, remember you have to pause the video. All right, until you done the tracing, we can do the color all together. All right. So the next part, yes, you're right. We're gonna grab your pencil crayon. We're gonna start to do the color. Okay, so I know some of you might wanna have a white bunny. So, which means you don't need to do the coloring? No, we have to. Even the white stuff has the shadow, right? Shadow create the color. So even my eraser is white, but when I change the angle, you see the top looks brighter, but the bottom, the side looks a little bit darker. That's a shadow. Same thing for the bunny. All right, so you can choose any color that you want for the shadow. It could be either light blue, creamy yellow, pink colors. If you wish to, you can use the orange. So any one of the color could be the shadow for the bunny. All right, feel free to pick the color from this fourth if you want to do a white bunny. All right. So I'm gonna choose the orange because it's darker, you can see it's more clear from the screen. Let's see here. Okay, so when the light is coming from the top, like the sun line, right? So the top gonna be the brightest, and our shadow gonna be on the opposite side. Let's see. So I have the dark, medium, and white on the top. Remember, we are doing the white bunny, not the orange bunny. So I only color where it has the shadow. And the top gonna be white. All right. So same thing here. I'm gonna color a little bit at the bottoms, a little bit at the bottoms, but keep the rest of them are white. And color on the side of the face because the sun is coming from here, so I have the shadow on the right. The shadow from the ears. 
messy. I didn't have to shadow too much. I'm keeping them looks like the white. Okay, I'm not going to change the bunny into the orange. Very light, and I have to shadow right under the mouth because they are not the three uh two D flat bunny. I uh, want them make like the three D. So we will have the shadow right here, a little bit at the bottom, a little bit under the nose, under the eyes. All right, that's it. Easy. And the arm, I'm gonna have to shadow under below the arm and keep the top white. Keep the top white. And the shadow on the stomach, shadow under the scuff, shadow under the scuff, scuff create a shadow too. And the back, dark medium light. So see, when I add is, we keep using the color value, right? So the color value is very useful. So try to practice the color value all the time. That will increase your joint skill a lot. All right, and the stomach has to show. Below here, the feet. See, when I add in the shadow, I didn't color everywhere. I only color where on the bottom and on the right hand side, right? So I'm done with the white bunny. Easy? Okay, so feel free if you want to do the white bunny, you can choose either color to color the shadow. All right, if you want to have the color one, like the brown one, yellow one, pink one, purple bunny, up to you, your choice. But try not to scribble in. Try your best to make the color looks pretty, looks nice. Then you got a masterpiece. All right. So now you can begin to uh, start to do the coloring. Okay.
right? So when you do the coloring, you have to check every single part. For example, I forgot my little hearts, right? Even that's very small, it deserves to have the colors, all right? So after you finish the color, then you have to double check which part you haven't done the color or some area looks a little bit scribbling. You might color it a little bit more patience, okay? So when you finish the drawing, don't forget to find the spot, to sign the name like the artist, okay? And don't forget to write down the date so you can record your drawings year by year. All right, so that's everything for today. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Let's email us to get your feedback. See you next time.